Welcome back. My frantic puma is now completely relaxed in my lap. I love him. He can go from zero to 60 faster than a Tesla, but he, he can also go from 60 to zero faster than a Tesla as well. Anyway, welcome back. Sorry, take off my dental device. Makes me sound like I've been drinking. Anyway, a well-known author, uh, I think his name is uh, B.S. Singer. He had many good things to say. One of his most interesting things, he said, I have to believe in free will. I have no choice. I kind of love that because it seems to reflect the dichotomy be between these two worldviews where we have free will and another camp that says that we don't. It seems to be more of a modern take on brain science and and the whole material take on reality that free will is being more and more sanitized from the scene and what we what we call free will is really just the illusion of it it's really just a it's really just the effect of physical forces acting on one another that produces within us a delusion or a movie or a feeling of free will but it's not free at all so this is a great question isn't it and I'm sure philosophers and scientists will be debating this for a long time, but perhaps the greater question is, do we have free will? Do you have free will? And this week we might think of free will in our experiment that we conduct always, our spiritual exercise. We might think of free will as our own ability to pay attention to what we choose to pay attention to. Now we might think, well, I always do that. I have almost perfect capacity to pay attention to what I choose to pay attention to. But uh, a case I'm going to make this week is that the people on one side of the coffee shop who are arguing for free will and the people on the other side of the coffee shop who are arguing for determinism, no free will, I'm going to say they're both correct. Well, how can you say that? Well, I would say that human beings definitely have free will maybe it's the greatest god-given gift that we have we're made in the image of god it says in the scripture and what is god's greatest capacity the free will to create to speak the word and throw galaxies into existence the free will to do that and this is the great gift that's planted inside of us if we have it we use it and we bring it out of dormancy and latency otherwise we largely operate on determinism. We have largely conditioned minds that take on certain patterns. And once those patterns are in place, then who needs free will anymore? When every moment of your life is largely determined by what's gone before it, your relationship is pretty much always the same. You do your job, you drive to work the same way, you wear the same clothes, you think the same thoughts, you watch the same news, you read the same books, you exercise the same way, and then where did free will go? Well, it was subsumed into habit. A great yogi once said that we're primarily bundles of habits. So this week is the experiment in free will that has to do attention. And in meditation, we pay attention to paying attention. That's the key. We're always paying attention to something. Something has our attention. The question is, is it conscious? Is it deliberate? Is it good for us? Do we like what it does? Anything we pay attention to will just continue to swell and build a groove in our brain. So we should probably pay attention to things that are groovy. So as meditators, we learn to pay attention to attention itself. We learn to pull back our own consciousness from the intensity of focus on something and actually see that we're paying attention. This is an entirely new degree of consciousness that while it may sound subtle or arcane to some, it could be the most important thing we ever do because whatever we're paying attention to will become your life. What I pay attention to becomes my life. So I like Kat just almost knocked the camera over. So this week, pay attention to what you pay attention to and ask yourself, do I have free will or am I slavishly compelled to pay attention to things I don't like, the news or 
somebody that I don't like or a situation that's not good for me. If we do have free will, let's use free will and find it and put it to its best use. Hope you found it interesting. Have a beautiful day.